So, Grace, um, can you tell us what is your spiritual background and what was your life like growing up? Yeah, so I kind of came from a home where we only really went to church like twice a year for holidays. And then uh, as I got older, I always wanted to hang out with friends, but they were always at like church things, like youth group and stuff. And so I couldn't really hang out with them. So I started like going with them as a way to hang out with them. But I never really like understood what was going on ever. So tell us, how did you come to faith in Christ? What did that look like for you? So I actually ran into a dinosaur on campus, and it happened to be the BSM doing first day of school photos. And so I took a photo with the dinosaur, and then I got a call during pre-cal one day, and I really didn't like pre-cal, so I took the phone call. And, <laughs> and it happened to be Sarah. She graduated last year, but she called me, and she set up like a little gospel appointment and sat me down and for the first time explained what the gospel was. And immediately it just like clicked in my head, and I was like, this, this sounds like a life I want to live. And I immediately gave my you know, gave my life to Christ. And she started taking me with her to Southfield. And my first time at Southfield, I watched someone get baptized and I kind of immediately knew I wanted to do that as well. So I watched another one and two weeks later, I was baptized with Sarah at Southfield. Yes. Praise God. Oh. So since coming to faith in Christ, how has your life changed? So it's really just given me like a lot of clarity and a lot of peace. I felt like before I was constantly running in circles, trying to figure out really what I wanted to do with my life, how I wanted to be, what kind of person I wanted to be. But since giving my life to Christ, it's just been such a clear path. My life really has like a purpose now. Praise God. So one final question we have for you is what is one challenge or a word of encouragement that you have for the students here tonight? I would honestly say keep an open heart and keep open ears. If you haven't given your life to Christ, just be willing to listen to the word, you know, be in the word. And if you already have, always keep your ears open because you never know when someone around you is having a hard time and, you know, just needs, needs your word. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Grace. Thanks for sharing with us.